Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 25th of May 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying your weekend if it's still weekend where you are. If you're in Australia of course it might be on the way out already, might be over and maybe you're playing this game on a Monday. Well ever anyway, such is the, such is the, the timeline. Um, speaking of time and timeline i uh, i wonder if there's a gene that certain people have that makes them do homework on a sunday evening uh, even though they've had it for like several days i was like this as a kid it's my one of my worst failings one of my worst character traits is that if i had homework i would not do it immediately on a friday when i got home from school I would leave it and say, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later until Sunday evening came in and I had terror because I had to try and catch up and <laughs> do my homework. I was so far behind uh, in it. And uh, as an adult, uh, many, many, many decades later, I still possess the same trait because I, I have homework to do. I've had work to do. That I could do at any time, tasks, business tasks to do, and I put them off and put them off. Uh, they have to be done by Monday, really, prepared by Monday, and uh, it's Sunday evening, and I'm in the middle of doing that stuff now. Why is it me? <laughs> I wish I was not like that. Anyway, I think I have that gene, if there is one. I'm going to be playing the uh, game of Sudoku, the impossible Sudoku, with you in just a tick. But there's something else I notice. Uh, I'm not much of a movie buff. I really don't watch films very often nowadays. But occasionally, uh, you know, people upload movies onto YouTube and they're, they're suggested to me. And I think, oh, OK, let's click and see. And quite often I just click away because it's not very entertaining or whatever. Uh, but that's not the case for a film that I've just watched. Some kind person has uploaded it illegally, presumably to YouTube. And it's called Sometimes Always Never. Uh, and I have been much, uh, what's the word, I have, in, I have increased my liking of Bill Nye's acting skills over the years. M many years ago I didn't think much of him, but I, I've grown to really like him and, and think he's much better and, and he's just got better all the time. And this film is about um, uh, a man who... who, who visits his grown-up son to uh, investigate whether his other son who is missing uh, could be a dead body and they spend time together and uh, it's very quite very British film if you don't like British films you won't like this but if you've got a taste for British films uh, it's really nice it's a very sweet film very funny in places uh, made me laugh a lot and uh, it's got wordplay in it which is always a good thing um, or or rather, I should say wordplay, I should say they actually talk about Scrabble quite a lot. Uh, but you don't have to be a Scrabble fan to appreciate the film. Right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku then. So as I said, this is the impossible level Sudoku. I'm going to start with digit 9 in that square there because it's something that caught my eye. Uh, usually I don't play these games or in, don't intend to go very far without pencil marks so a quick warning ahead of time but occasionally I do actually get to the end without pencil marks but that's it shouldn't be the case because we should need some kind of Sudoku logic but it does happen sometimes so let's just see well, I'm not really expecting it six there six across this way this way six down there there's a six six up here six down there and there's another six, and we'll go with sixes across here. I th is this the last one? It might be. It was. <coughs> We've got eight blocking this square and eight blocking this square. So in this column, that must be our eight. And now we've got 8 across here and across here and down there. So that'll give us 8 in that square. 8 down here, 8 up there. 8 across there, there's an 8. And then 8 across here, across here, up here and down there. Uh, oh, there's just one more to go by the looks of it. Yep, 6 and 8 are out.
let's see what's available as a gimme if there are any more we've had a couple of gimmies already two in that block there two across there across there and up there two blocking like this so we've got two in one of these two squares blocking across two down we'll extend that across two in that square three down there down there four blocking this square that's got to be a four over here and the last digit over here is a five <coughs> five blocking down here there's a five this will be three. Ah, so one and three blocking across there, that's a pair of one and three in those squares there. I can get this, can't I? Whatever it is. This is one and three. So this is not. Uh, it's two and four. So this is not two or four, it's got to be a five. I have five blocks this square. If we need a five in this column. It goes there, and this is a two, I think, for this column. And this is the four, then. Four across here, four down there. And there's our four. The last number in this row is a seven. Uh, what did I say? Forgotten. Three. One, three, sorry. That's a one or three. Yeah, that's about right. <coughs> actually we got one three here as well look at that one three one three so that's a one three so we can't get a unique rectangle but we can say that these squares do not contain one or three so they are two which we already know is up there uh four five seven two four five seven not sure that's going to give me what I need fours are there twos are there five seven hmm. okay I think I've got three numbers up here. Oh, maybe I'm wrong though. We've definitely got two and three up there. What else is missing? Oh, one and four. No, maybe I'm wrong. 
No, no, I'll take it back. Oh, wait a minute. I know what I said. I said 1 and 3 in those squares there, didn't I? I did. I said 1, 3. That's 1, 3. And that was 1, 3. That was 1, 3, wasn't it? So so this square here can't be a 1. And this 1 blocks that square. So that has to be a 1 there. Now, I do believe I've got two numbers up here. Uh, but what are they? What was it? What did I see? two blocks up there yeah so we got twos in those squares what was the other thing three isn't it three across three across there yeah so that's a pair of two and three <coughs> which means that this is not that's got to be a four four across here across there four up there <coughs> excuse me four in that square Four blocking to the top gives us a four up there, four across there, four up here, and four up there means that's a four. One and nine block across here, that means that's a pair of one and nine. No, we can do better than that. Nine across here, nine across there, there's our nine. One across here, there is our one. And come back here because we know this is three and this is going to be one. And this is three down there and that's going to be one up there. Those pairs are sorted out now. How are we doing on that? In fact, we've got another one that we can get here. This might be the last one. Yes, it was. How about the threes? Uh, maybe not yet. Oh, but we've got three there, so maybe we can. Three there. No, not yet. But anyway, missing digit here is seven, I think. Seven blocking across. There's our seven. Last number, there's a five. Five blocking up there. Five across there. There's a five. One more digit. What are you? What are you? What are you? Two, I think you are. Um okay. Let's see. Oh, one digit over here. What's that? Is that a seven? That's a very convenient seven because seven blocks across there. There's our seven, there's our three. Three across here, three up there, there's our three. This what a two I said, didn't I? Yeah, two in there. Two blocking this way, two blocking this way, there's our two. One more digit there. I think, I think that's a nine. Nine blocking across there. So once again, the impossible Sudoku has proved to be extremely possible. And in fact, that one, uh, not much of a challenge, really. Uh, definitely, we I've seen some hard level Sudoku, not expert level puzzles, hard level puzzles from the LA Times, which are harder than that. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, over the week, I will play games of Sudoku as and when I am able to, fitting in with my actual work as opposed to this stuff which is just a sideline take care bye bye